Oh, welcome to the stream, everybody. How are you all doing, little fish cakes? Speaking of which, I had fish cakes the other day. They weren't that great. Oh, what? What do you mean they weren't? What were they made with? Uh, fish. <laughs> yes, but what fish? I don't know. That can really change the entire game. All right, John. Voice Cecile. Uh, what voice did I? Oh, the, oh, oh, oh this is new. This is new. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's an old lady as far as I can Oh, oh dear me. When you the bases came to ask questions not this long ago. Alright, we did come before. I'm sorry, I couldn't talk to you then. So what, what you came to ask about is what happened last night, right? Joshua? It was frozen on the woman when it started the stream. <laughs> Alright. Yes, that's right. Is this a good time for you? Yes, this is a good time as any. I'm it so bored! <laughs> it was the middle of the night, you see, when I heard a noise coming from outside, see? Say? <laughs> Say? Yes. I of course thought it was my husband coming home at such a late hour, so I opened the door and started yelling. Little did I know he's been dead for 30 years! <laughs> but it turned out to be a group of masked men coming yep. out of the horrible factory. He pulled the road. Mickey! <laughs> I thought my heart was plumb gonna stop right then and there. <gasps> <laughs> Although it turned out the burglars were rather surprised and ran away in the north. I wonder what this voice is going to end up as. <laughs> I see. So it was the Sky Bandits, huh? So you're saying then, is this, is that this house didn't occur, incur a loss of any kind? Yeah, thanks to the mercy of the goddess. Can I ask you another thing? Did your husband coming home late mean that he went to the bar? If it was only that, that would be forgivable. In addition to being a no good drinker, he's obsessed with t uh, this. Cecile raised her hand in a casting motion. Uh. Oh, I get it! You mean fishing, right? Oh, I see now. <laughs> That's right, he loves fishing more than life itself. This woman wishes her husband was a drunk rather than a fisherman. <laughs> And yesterday he said something about catching some smelt and took off the lake in the south. On top of that, he still hasn't come back. <laughs> uh, so what you're saying is he doesn't know anything about the incident? That's exactly what I'm saying. And when that good for nothing husband of mine gets home, he's going to get what for, let me tell you. It's becoming Indian. Hi, <laughs> honey, I'm home. Oh, what a day I had. I was fishing patiently all morning, but I have nothing to show for it. Oh, what's this? Do we have guests? You see that, old man? Oh my goodness, woman. What kind of fiery tempest has gone into you? Don't you know it's rude to act like that in front of guests? If I wasn't being rude, that would be you. I am dumbfounded that my own husband can just take off to do what he likes at a time like this. Huh? What do you mean at a time like this? Maybe I should explain. <laughs> Maybe you should. Joshua gave Mr. Kuano a brief explanation regarding the bur burglaries which transpired the previous night. Burglaries by Sky Bandits? You don't say. Now that is terrible. But to think that they hightailed it out of here after my wife hollered at them is hilarious! Ah! <laughs> Guess they've got experience the Cecil effect at first hand. What did you just say? Let's all calm down now, shall we? But to think these Sky Bandits came in the night like they did, and then just disappeared like that. I wonder if it had anything to do with that thing he was talking about the other day. He? What do you mean? Oh, right, uh, you don't know him. He is my fishing buddy. He's staying at the inn down the lakeshore at the south of here. If I remember right, he said something about seeing a strange bunch near the place the other night. A strange bunch? Now, this sounds pretty interesting. Can you tell us a little more about what you've heard? Sure, I don't mind. But I'm just going to tell you up front that it's all hearsay. 
From what I heard, he just happened to see them by chance as he was out fishing during the night. Who fishes at night? <laughs> Especially when you don't uh, have, like, lights. Like, loads like... of people. You can catch big fish during the night. But well, I mean, like, yeah, but that's more modern times sort of thing. <laughs> like, this is when they <laughs> barely have any light, any functioning lighting. He, sh he saw them leave, by the way, the inn's front door and then out, the, out onto the road. However, when he asked about around the inn in the morning, it turned out that no one like that stayed there that night before. Yeah, that is rather odd. So, was there any type of burglary at the inn? No, nope, nothing of that sort at all, in fact. It's quiet there. The meals are great, and it's, well, a place I'd recommend to anyone. But best of all, it's a prime fishing spot. Though there weren't any definitive clues related to that incident, we did manage to hear a few interesting bits. I concur. I especially like that one that <laughs> described all the delicious food at the inn. That's not what we're talking about here. Although I did find the fishing part to be rather interesting. Unfortunately, if there's nothing going on there, then I guess it wouldn't be worth investigating. Actually, I think it's the opposite. If someone had been careless and caused a problem, the army would have thoroughly investigated it. Is this about to introduce a fishing minigame, Matthew says. Oh boy, have I something to tell you. Conversely, the possibility of the Sky Bandits appearing where there's nothing happening is rather high. Oh well, I guess that's one way to think about it. And in light of the serious incidents... Series of incidents. There's either a spy in the army, or the Sky Bandits are a really clever bunch of thieves. It'll be extremely difficult to corner them, only by investigating the incidents which have occurred. We need to get one step ahead of them by tracking their movements. I see. So what you're saying is that we should take an offensive stance rather than a defensive one. <clears throat> hmm. Then how about we get going? Off to the beautiful Valeria Lake, extolled in many a rhyme as the Pearl of Libro. All right. Valeria Lake, which is where? No, it's Sun under the water. It's been sunk by volcanic eruptions. Don't go there. Oh, oh wait, no, we have to go to the shops. We have to go to the shops. <laughs> James, I don't think you should be airing your personal life like that. All right, we need to buy another oh. copy of the Liberal News. Uh, is it her who sells it? Yes, issue three of the Liberal News. And let's just open it up, shall we? Uh, books. That's issue one. Issue three. And there we go. That's everything for everyone. And talk to the man for chapter four. Care to take Libro, John? <laughs> you mean there's a guy who runs a bookshop called Libro? No, uh. but no, he's. I think I think the old woman's that the runner, the person in charge, but he's just buying books. Oh, well, still makes sense. Um, <clears throat> let's see what. Uh... I I came here to buy the next chapter <laughs> in the novel series I've been reading, but it's still not in yet. Once I read a book, I almost never read it again. Anyway, I'm done with this one, so you can have it. The lady who owns the shop recruited me to work here not that long ago. I wonder if she hired me, because I was always putting in my thoughts about her merchandise. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. right. And yet more of Carnelia. Be read by those in the VOD. No. And not Reading. by us too. Uh, uh, well, we're not doing it, so. Alright, now we have to head down to Valeria Shore. More like leg it to Valeria Shore. Well, I mean, yeah. Unless you're heading there by bouncing on your head all the way. Yeah. I thought so. Should <laughs> just say Pazzo? You heard me. I didn't, really. Well, that's your problem. Yeah. Maybe you should stop screaming down the fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
clearly is having a more adverse effect than we thought. Well, I mean, it is going directly into my ears. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, Joshua. Uh. Everyone's going to miss, aren't they? Nope, shares are hit. And now to show off the fact that that Olivier doesn't actually need to use fire. <laughs> He's so far more useful for stone. Troy Baker time. We will now see a new stone ability. That was no diff. Did I just use the same one, or did I use a different one that had the exact same animation? <laughs> What do you say? Enjoy the show. No, he said, fuck me. Well, yeah, but I mean... What's the difference? Well, no. He's not that desperate, Dennis. <laughs> we may make Are him out sure? to... I mean, he was hitting on, like, everyone. everyone he saw, except for Estelle. But as far as he's concerned, that's because he's just such a fine piece of meat. More like piece of sheet. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the north shore of Valyria Lake, huh? It certainly seems peaceful and quiet around here. The inn doesn't look too shabby either. I stayed here once before when I was in the area on another job. The wine's great, the rooms are nice, pretty much what you'd expect from a place like this. Too bad this isn't a pleasure trip. You mean it's not? I at least intend to toss my cares to the wind for a while. Taking catnaps on a rocking boat by day and filling my belly with food and wine by night. Heaven. This is what a vacation is all about. That that that. That that that. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Come on, everyone! I was just joking. We can enjoy a vacation anytime, but now is now is the only time we can enjoy taking care of some would-be thieves. Even I, Olivia Lenheim, know enough to get my priorities straight. I don't think this has anything to do with enjoyment or not. Uh, well, whatever, as long as he does his share of the work, as he, he is here to do. Let's see if we can find the old man staying here that loves fishing. Hello, Alex. I guess you said he saw some suspicious individuals here two nights ago, right? Welcome to the stream, Alex. Hello. Hey, yeah. Alex, blow it out, you <laughs> What? Seems like a rather big inn. But I suppose inns need to be big, don't they? Who's big in? No, actually, James, uh, as you're not currently inside, it's an out. Now it's an inn. Uh, what, is it out spelt with two T's? <laughs> yes. No, two you. I mean, what else would you call the exterior of an inn except an out? Alright, no food. The hell is a smelt? Deep fried smelt. A small, lightly battered, eastern style fried fish. Yes, but what the hell is this smelt? I, it's probably the name of the fish, John. Sounds like nonsense. Boiled miso carp. Oh no, grilled rainbow. What have they done? <laughs> uh. A salted grilled fish. It's simple. <laughs> Rainbow seems a bit extravagant for something that's supposedly very simple. Rockfish skewer. Maybe, maybe it used to be colorful before it got cooked. <laughs> Salmon manure. <laughs> All right, there it's we go. It's actually a salmon manure. The the inn needs to be big for John to fit in, of course. Uh, okay. Talk to fishermen on the pier of the west. All right. West is this way. Ah, what is that, a rat? No. That's a still. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she may have a ratty complexion, but... <laughs> Who wants to play man with Paul? Not me. I actually thought that was just an extremely deformed um, <clears throat> external organ. Well, John, do you care to take the man with the deformed organ? His belly button is really Okay, low. okay, he, he's a fisherman, isn't he? Yeah, he's a fisherman. Dad! Dad, dad! <laughs> um, can we ask you something? Go on. Screen's frozen on me. Oh, it's the dad. same thing. Dad, dad. 
Wow, he's not responding at all. He must really be into his fishing. Mm, so this is what it, what a fishing maniac looks like, huh? They seem like a unique breed. <laughs> of course he used the word breed. Not as unique as you are, that's for sure. That's it? <laughs> Am I talking to the wrong person? Obviously. They said you've talk to the... the you've fallen for the red herring, James. To talk to the guy on the pier to the west, or does it mean the? No, that's. Maybe there's another pier. It's just, it's just that. It's, he's the only one out here. <laughs> All right, try again. Talk to him again, I guess. The only other way. It's... Dad, dad, dad. The man seems to be concentrating on his fishing. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right then. Go to the shore, talk to the man in the kitchen, talk to fishermen on wait. Pier West. What if Estelle jumps into the water and Dis tugs on the fishing line? Uh, she'd probably end up taking the bait. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Okay. I, I, it doesn't say he actually has to say, any, say anything, so maybe I'll just talk to the receptionist. Welcome to the Kingfisher Inn. Please let me know if you would like to stay. I mean, how much of this is fish? Like, just, ev I get, yeah, it's a fishing lodge, but I mean, does everything have to be fish? Yes, James. Do you not understand the soul, the spirit of the fish? I mean, neither do you. You cover them in chocolate. Yeah, but I mean, that's in an effort to improve them, to make them ascend. Okay, now I've rested. <laughs> now get... try speak. now try speaking. Examine the pier. I don't have to speak to him, but I have to examine it. Is he still over here, or is he gone? Nope, he's still here. Okay. Does he want me to examine one of these two? Nope. What about this one? Nope. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Try speaking to him. Oh, it's stupid. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Um, can I ask you something? And of course, that, that, that. it's it's the same thing. <laughs> why would you? Why would this you? This is gonna be it? one of those games. It's like you have to talk to him fifty times, and then you can unlock the dialogue <laughs> that just says, mm, "Fish." <laughs> what the fuck? Examine the pair. Talk to the receptionist again. Oh god, Dennis, you you might not be wrong. Oh no, I was I was joking. Welcome to the Cake Fisher and Wisdom. Talk to the <laughs> Did you just cut yourself off? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, because it's the same dialogue. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to examine here? Life. Death. And the fleeting years. Yep, it's the same thing. Am I at the wrong place? I couldn't be. <laughs> Valyria Shore, that's exactly where I fucking am. Go to Valyria Shore. Man in kitchen's new food, did that. Talk to fisherman. Rent a room. Examine pier. But, but I can't. There's nothing to fucking do. <laughs> oh, this is just hilarious to watch. What do I do? What do I do, Lord? Talk to other people. Lord forgive me, but I'm gonna buy YouTuber merch. Okay, <laughs> we won't read this, but that's just somebody saying it's a nice inn. Yeah, it's a nice inn. Nothing to actually help me with the fucking story. Nice inn. Hey you, nice inn. Okay, that's just up onto the balcony. Weapons? Oh, fishing rods. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are weapons in a sense. I mean, some people can beat Zelda games with them. Yeah, just empty rooms. You, you've broken it somehow. Okay. What the fuck do I do? Have you tried talking to him? Yes! <laughs> Several times! <laughs> same dialogue. He's busy, and then it opens at the same. Oh, what if you... What if you shot him? Well, first, 
He deflect the bullet with his rod. <laughs> yeah, at that, that exact moment. Deflect the bullet with his rod. Okay. okay. Rest again. I didn't know it was that thing. I'll just I'll try resting again. See if that does anything. You'll spend all your mirror before you even manage to make a dent in this. All right, James. What does the guide say? Maybe it it's says. Riddle. It says. Okay. Talk to fishermen on the west pier. This. <laughs> Done that. <laughs> Talk to the receptionist and rent a room. Did that. Examine the pier. The There's... There's no option to examine any pier. Any... All, all three of them have nothing. <laughs> nothing. At all. Do you think pirates are a little overpowered? The fuck are you talking about? No, because, like, they can... Mimic voices, you know. Most, lots of birds can. Parrots aren't, like, alone in that. Yeah, I don't know which bird it was. It, it was either raven or crow, but apparently they can actually recognize reflections off of, like, well, their reflections, unlike other well, birds. I mean, I mean, if Estelle can recognize her reflection, I mean, anyone can. Hmm, you might be right. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? Destroyed the child. Talk to the receptionist. I'm, I've been talking to the receptionist and she just says, Welcome to the inn. Have, have you tried leaving when you speak to the reception? No, it says you're supposed to. Okay. What about the cook? Is is he technically the receptionist? Oh my god. Name and Jim. <laughs> Alright, <Den> Dennis. <laughs> and for that, Dennis, you get to voice Leonard. Welcome to Kingfisher Inn. My name is Jeff. Are you all here today? <laughs> Let's see. Yes and no. How should I put it? We're here looking for a certain someone. Is there a guest staying here who loves to fish? Which, can I just say to the writer of this guide, this man is not a receptionist. He's a chef or a cook or whatever. The receptionist is the lady over at the desk. Well, He's pretty much. Owner. Everybody stay there love to fish. My name is Chef. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chef. <laughs> we heard that he was a friend of the old man who stayed here yesterday. Do you have a clue who that might be? Uh, are you talking about old man Kuwaro? <laughs> You're talking about his fishy boy, and I think he must mean Lloyd. Lloyd? I've heard he's a professional angler who came all the way from Royal City. <laughs> Seems as though he's a member of the Fisherman's Guild there. He sounds like he's about to cry. <laughs> he sounds like a pretty amazing guy. So you're saying that he's that old man fishing out the back? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking. He's <laughs> the one you're talking about. No, it does. If you, if you mess up, keep going. <laughs> With this voice. You might be able to get his attention because call his name out really loud. You shout, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That shouldn't be funny. I mean, to be fair, my name Jeff is a, has stood the test of time. That, that, that. Um, excuse me. Are you the man named Lloyd who's from the Royal City? That, that, that. Wow, he's really focused. He's tuned everything out of his mind but fishing. It looks like this is where my skills come into play. Why don't you... Just sit back and enjoy. Oliver, Olivia leaned over and with a smile that left all kinds of things up to interpretation blew into the man's ear. <laughs> oh my goodness, what in the... Who are you, kids? And, and, and where did you come from? That, that was a dirty trick to play on him, Olivia. Yeah, that was pretty low. How do you do this evening, good sir? We tried calling out to you a moment ago, but we could see that, like a true professional, your attention was fixed upon your task. You're Lloyd, aren't you? Yes, that's right. How would you know my name? We heard from a certain old man about you. And his friend, Jeff. Do you have some time you could spare to speak with us? I see. You heard from Mr. Guano, did you? <laughs> Mr. Guano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that strange pair about two nights ago. I knew it. 
Can we get fill us in a little more on the details? Before that, uh, are you all bracers or something? Is somehow related to some sort of crime? We can't say for sure, but there does seem to appear to be a possibility. Gotcha, a peer. Got, got, gotcha. Why is he getting in, quiet, John? <laughs> in that case, I'll, I'll do what I can to help you out. Why does it sound like he's trying to make us buy a watch? <laughs> it was the other night when I was out fishing on my boat. <laughs> Air quotes. I was, re I was returning to the inn, dead, tired, after a day of battling it out with this lake's guardian. It had gotten late into the night and it was about time when everyone at the inn was asleep in their beds. Now hold on a minute. What do you mean by this lake's guardian? No, no. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The garden is a giant salmon that swims the murky depths of Valeria Lake. It looks pretty clear to me. <laughs> I mean, just, you can see the bottom. Yeah. Has been the feared king of the waters among fishing lo- Feared. Cade. Feared. It's just a big salmon. Crap, I shouldn't have asked. It's like you've thrown a log onto the maniac's fire. Is it really that huge of a fish, like you say? You bet your last mirror it is. And I've been chasing the damn thing for the last five years of my life. His axe is changing it again. Took, it took me leg. It comes and goes in different parts of the air lake and changes its feeding spots on a whim. Why does it even have spots? It's a fish. I heard from a buddy of mine that it appeared in this part, so I was coming a running from the royal city. Ha! <laughs> no, that's what I call a passion. I can completely understand where you're coming from. Whenever I find something I like, I stop at nothing until I get a hold of it. For a example, a, for example, a bottle of Grand Chardonnay and such. In your case, it's steal it more is more accurate. <clears throat> How about we get back to your story? So, Lloyd, what happened when you came back from the fishing that night? Oh, right. Um, I'd returned the boat and uh, was on my way to the uh, inn. I saw an odd couple head out into the road from the grounds behind a building. Onto the road? In the middle of the night? Yep, no doubt about it. They headed out onto the um, New Ansel Path. First, I thought they were a group of people visiting from the city, heading back What's, home. What, what, what is this way of talking? <laughs> but it was way too late for something like that. And when I asked at the inn in the next day, nobody knew a thing about it. Chance enemy is consistency. <laughs> <laughs> thought maybe I'd seen a couple ghosts or something. Oh, like say it right, John. Thought maybe I'd seen a couple of ghosts or something. A couple of ghosts. Ghosts? Isn't there are ghosts that come out here? <laughs> Just so you know, the two I saw were a young couple. They might have been two lost souls who committed a double suicide after not being accepted by those around here. Oh, I'm not telling me anymore. No, oh, brother. I'm Bryce that's afraid of ghosts. The guild is doomed. Not to mention, her have of always wanted to hear more ghost stories and other bizarre stuff. Now, now, isn't your being scared attractive in its own right itself? <laughs> Not sexy, <laughs> but cute nonetheless. Like a little kitten shivering in the cold. You'd better watch out because this little kitten bites. <laughs> well, I was just kidding about the ghost part. But the couple did, in fact, seem to be one with a purpose and reason. I say this because the girl was wearing some other odd clothing. What do you mean by that? None! I only saw her from behind. <laughs> so I couldn't say for sure. But it looked to me like she was wearing some kind of school uniform. Of course, I used my fishing rod to... Get a school uniform. A school uniform? It couldn't be. Well, I mean, let's... Okay, let's pause for a moment and use some logic. Why would she pull the school uniform thing again? Um, because... 
she likes it. <laughs> I have no idea. It wasn't one from the Janus Royal Academy, was it? Wow, you're in, kid. You betcha. My knees goes there as well. It looked exactly the same as the one she wears. I see. This whole event just has, just got a lot more interesting. It's her! I know it's that lying tomboy for sure! We're finally out of her trail! What, so... she's an acquaintance of you? While you're at it, tell the two of them not to fret and rush into anything they'll regret. <laughs> giving a relationship advice to a bunch of thieves. If my mind isn't fading me, uh, I could have sworn it coming again. Oh, Jesus tonight. Christ, John. Is that true? Yep, we'll meet you back. We'll meet back in two days, is what the young man said. That one seemed rather serious. We can help but think on it. And now, if it's who I think it is, <laughs> it's not at all any kind of that char serious character. Well, that's understandable. We appreciate the valuable information. Just leave the rest up to us. We won't let them get into any more trouble than they already are. I see. Well, that's a um, relief to him. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders now. Now that that's off my chest, I feel like taking a boat out and fishing. Again. Well, it's no time to lose. I'll leave you vampire. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? Youngins, do your work. Excuse me? What was that, John? Man, I don't... Okay. I don't even know. Man, I don't even measure up when it comes to that fishing nut. He mentioned something about a fisherman's guild, too. I wonder what kind of group that is. So how is this couple involved with the missing airliner incident exactly? If you don't mind telling me that it is? Well, in a nutshell, explained, yeah. I see, that seems to be the person in question, alright? Which means that tonight- Jared, you didn't say anything. <laughs> Which means that tonight is the night, huh? Yeah. It looks like we should probably get a room just in case. We're going to be in for a late night tonight. All right, let's go ask the receptionist about a room. All right then. And now okay. this this time does it actually mean the receptionist or does it mean the cook? My name is Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard the chef. All right, let's let's actually try the receptionist first. It actually meant the receptionist this time. Fuck. What do you I mean? think they should just use names instead of receptionist and chef. other receptionist. <laughs> Will you be staying here with us tonight? Yeah, that's the plan. This is the exact same voice. <laughs> Hold on, Estelle. You have stupid energy again. <laughs> big, big dumb energy. <laughs> if there's anything that we haven't taken care of, we'd better do it now. I don't want to head back to Bose after we've gotten a room. I mean, like, it's only one night. Um, I guess you're right. Okay, not just yet. Do we have side quests? Uh, reserve the room. There's a thing here that says talk to receptionist. And to examine the pier again. Oi. Now, can I actually do any of this? Anything? Okay, what about the other one? What about the one with the man with the most inconsistent voice? <laughs> You mean all the characters have voiced huh? Yes. Well, no, some of them are more consistent than that. Like the mayor. I suppose the mayor. The mayor, <laughs> the, mayor the guy at the, at the Bracer Guild. Okay, no, it seems to just, just go ahead and do it then. Let's talk to, let's talk to him one more time. <laughs> Dennis. We able to meet Lloyd? <laughs> If you like what you see here at the end, then please stay for the night. <laughs> I decided cancellation, so I have an open room. Goodbye, Jeff. Alright. I think that's... We it. did it. Alright, get the room. <laughs> get a room! Please come with me, I'll show you to a room. This place doesn't look like it have a very big selection of rooms. <laughs> well, there you go. This is all we get. 
This is where you'll be staying. I will leave you here, so please relax until dinner is served. Oh, the inn serves dinner as well to the characters. That's Very nice, nice room. I mean, well, I mean, a certain atmosphere that you just don't find back in the city. I mean, to be fair, John, most inns of any sort serve dinner. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, I never go for inn, you know. It, yeah, it's great, huh? It wasn't that expensive either. Hmm, what to do now? I about really relax until it gets dark. What a nice idea. I'd be more than happy to do just that, but is it really okay to take it easy? Rest when you can. That's part of Brace's job, too. This is our free time, so let's enjoy a meal, take a stroll, or something else. Oh no, it's the lake episode. <laughs> because you can't have a beach episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, what a picturesque view! The entire lake looks like it's glowing! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually is! Too bad we can't see the rural city on the opposite sh or for because of the haze. That's not haze, Joshua. That's pollution. <laughs> but from here, it's easy to tell that this is the biggest lake in the kingdom. What? That? That means no. <laughs> That's not how that. Joshua, <laughs> shut the fuck up. This lake is like a fisher's dream come true. I'd better be a blast to throw a line in those waters. Then how about it? No. It might fishing? be a nice change of pace for you. <laughs> I told Matthew he was in for something. Yeah, maybe I will. What are you going to do, Joshua? Me? Um, let's see. There's a book I've been meaning to read, so maybe I'll just sit in that chair and relax. Ha, <laughs> fucking nerd! How old are you again? Only geezers talk about sitting back and relaxing. Young boys are supposed to get out and move their bodies. <laughs> I'll leave that part to you. <laughs> Wait, is he even flying that this tell is a young boy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well. Uh, that's that's that that's what I find hypocritical. She calls Josette a tomboy. <laughs> but Estelle, you're the same person. She, no, she's worse. <laughs> Estelle is more, far more of a tomboy than Josette. Yeah, but like, remember, so, Estelle's a main character. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can be such a drag. Oh well, I should hurry up and decide on a fishing spot, like right there. Hmm. Somewhere around that pier looks like it might be a lucky spot for bites. Or you know, just do it. Okay. What if you jumped into the water and tried to catch a fish by hand? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> tried it once. Uh, I almost uh, caught fish, but I ended up catching a shrimp instead. Like, <laughs> Oh, you mean those things that aren't nearly as fast or agile? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, it was so difficult to do it. I'll have you know, um, the shrimp was about Jim. the size of my Jim. hand. It was massive and um, if it wasn't for the, Sam the pier. guy following but like an electric pack on his back electrocuting the waters I would never have caught it ah if you would like to borrow a fishing pole we can loan you one so all you need to do is ask all right then give it to me or do I have to go up and actually take it no okay do I have to talk to Jeff <laughs> Hey man, you wanna go fishing? Uh, <laughs> I've got some good fishing today. Please look, please look for your meal. I would not eat a meal served by that. Served? Wow, wow, John, you call him that? <laughs> there are three genders: male, female, and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes, this looks good. Definitely the best spot. Hey, now let's. See about casting a few lines. Start fishing. James, James, James. Here we go. It's fishing time. Crap, I don't have it. Right, oh, Matthew, take out uh, Final Fantasy 15. Wait, she doesn't have a fishing. What the fuck? What kind of sequence of events is this? <laughs> Alright, now give me a fishing rod. Um, do you have any fishing pole? Any fish. Oh, have a fishing pole. Do you have a fishing pole I can borrow? Yes, of course we do. They're right over there. And, free, and they're free to use for anyone lodging here. Wow, really? Score! Progressive Rod. <laughs> My name's Rod. <laughs> and I'm really into feminism. This is a pretty nice rod to be lolling out to everyone. Alright then, I'll put it into good use. Please enjoy yourself. And look as the two adults are getting wasted. Joshua, come on. <laughs> I said two. Not three. Joshua's two. 
right. Joshua's two years old. Alright, let's see how the fishing minigame works. <laughs> let's see, from this pier, which would be the best place to drop a line. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, it says I just have to... To the, to the east, let's, perhaps? Let's just, I, let's just pick one and see. Right around here looks nice. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishes. Now what should I do about bait? <laughs> what the fuck does any of this Use mean? Use a fly. <laughs> Use a lure. Alright, let's sit back and relax and see what we come up with. Okay, is there no actual minigame? Is this just like different selections to get different fish kind of thing? Sweet, I got a bite! Now this is the critical part. How should I bring it up? Oh my god. Uh... Let's just go all top values. In a smelt. See, I told you his name of a fish. What a little fishy. Josh is going to make fun of me if he sees this. Should I just eat it now and hide the evidence? Are you going to eat a raw a fish you just pulled out of the fucking water? It's not about the fish. It's about sending a message. Let's see. What should I do now? Alright, let's go again. Change spot. Actually, no. Don't change spot. We're going to exhaust every option. No. But well, we're gonna exhaust every option until we have ten fish. Anyway. All right, we're going up to speed. This time we're going to wait a bit before reading it. See if that changes anything. A liberal carp. Fishing is a time waster. It is, but we still need ingredients for food, and also we have to exhaust all of the content. This one is just my warm up. Let's see. All right, yeah. Continue fishing. Don't change. So, fishing mini games in modern games, huh? In modern games, are far better. <laughs> These are actually, yeah. at least it's actually a mini game. Spear fishing would be nice. Real a salmon. Yes, yes, yes! I am a goddess of fishing. What a haul! It's just a salmon. This may just beat the record for the size of my best catch to date. I thought for certain it was just a regular fish by the way it tugged on the line. What's spear fishing? You just get a spear and you fucking stick the fish. Oh, it's a literal. Oh, okay. Yeah, just literally spear the fucker with. John, with I thought you were a bear. You just grab it with your paws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. but then, Dennis, I'd have to wait upstream, you know? It's mm. too much work. I'd just rather just take a spear and look for it. Alright, and now right. we're on the second set. How long is this gonna go? Can I like leave? <laughs> no. We all, we have we have to Come do on. we have to Let's catch <laughs> we have to catch ten fish. No, I can't. Come on, stop. you can do it, John. Sorry, well, Use well, a fly then. Go on. No, we're we're still on the live bait. We have two more oh. for live bait, then the three for for a fly, and then we change spot and do it one more time. Uh, that sucks. Yep, but this is. I have to do it. Ooh, a tiger rockfish. Wow, this one's a biggie. I believe a little bragging may be in order. She's been bragging this entire time. Don't change. Use the live bait. I don't see how waiting makes it a different fish. Wait until it gets tired. Another liberal cut. Alright. That's six. Uh, don't change spot. So, John. Medusa versus. I'm sorry, what? Um, <laughs> Medusa versus. Who would you rather? Uh, uh, what, what are you talking about now? Wait, Medusa versus who? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it. Medusa, a harpy, and a literal pile of shit. Uh, Medusa, because you can wear reflective sunglasses. Kill, no, kill, marry, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, first of all, kill say, of say, shit, say, right. say it in the correct oh, order, John. Now, uh, listen. The piece of shit, I'll kill him. Fuck. Who? Fuck, fuck For me Mary to know. Kill. Ooh, a rainbow trout. Now, this is quite a catch. That's it. Fine, that's, that's the entire new line. Oh, wait, no. Fly and wait. So 
so um so you I'll fuck fuck house. fuck marry kill of shit medusa and a harpy yeah what the fuck is wrong with you dennis go first hey <laughs> Uh, fuck me, do set because reflective sunglasses. She'll turn to stone, and then my dick will get stuck in there. Okay. That's it. <laughs> you didn't even bother. <laughs> the rest like, is irrelevant. You're just like I've been fantasizing about this for the longest time. Medusa. Bro, what? I, <laughs> I, I, I got dick stuck in stone. I actually got boots. <laughs> it's fishing. It's so stupid. Stupid. Curse you, holy boots! This victory is yours. That's it. Man, it's already starting to get dark. I guess I ended oh, up with a hard. pretty good catch after all. Check this out, Joshua. Look what I caught. Huh? Joshua? What's this? Book. The book, Hundred Days War, seemed to have been left on the table, but still picked it up. I wonder if Joshua just forgot this. For being so sharp, you sure can miss some things sometimes. I guess I'll just have to take it to him myself. Then again, I wonder where he could have gone, taken off to. But before that, we have to talk, we have to see if Sherry's or Olivia have gotten wasted. Oh no, there's the second bottle! So you can hold your liquor, can't you? <laughs> I think I've changed my mind about you. Come on now, drink up. Uh, hold on, Shara. Don't you think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves with this pace? It could interfere with tonight's... What are you whining about now? Come on and drink, you third-rate musician, or are you saying that you can't keep up with me? Yikes. Estelle, don't just sit there and watch. Do something. Sorry, bud, when she gets started, there's no stopping her. But you don't have to worry, Sharon never gets, Sharon never gets plastered. Um, shouldn't you be worried about me? And there we go. <laughs> yeah, Joshua's disappeared, he's finally escaped from Estelle. Den <laughs> Dennis is free. The slave boy has is escaped. I will never return. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Why can't I telepathically catch fish? Hey there, laddie. He's brooding by the pier. What are you doing whittling away the evening in a place like this? <laughs> I'm just contemplating suicide. <laughs> Not much. I was trying to drink the lake water. Now I feel sick. <laughs> How about yourself? Are you too <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> I drank too much water and now my tummy hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god. Uh, How about yourself? Are you done fishing or are you heading back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. <laughs> I caught a boot. I'm sh it sure has been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. Estelle held out the book she found on the table. You said you were going to read, but you ended up leaving your book on the table. You should be more careful with your stuff. Oh, that. I actually finished reading it. My eyes are starting to feel a bit tired, so I thought I'd take a walk for a change. Liar. What? You're hiding your feelings again, aren't you? I can tell that's what you're doing. Dot, dot, dot. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And while I'm not as reliable as Dad, I can still yeah. give you a shoulder to lean on. Dot, dot, dot. They're, they're step-siblings, am I correct? No, he's adopted. He, he is so that adopted. Mean, that means the shipping can go on. Yet. Yes, the ship. It's very clear from the outset, John, that that's the intent, yes. Yay. I mean, her dad literally said, I got a present for you, a little boy. <laughs> and, I'm and, not kidding. And for once, Estelle, being the voice of reason, said, Why is my present a boy? It's times like these when you should say thank you and not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's most important. You're probably right. Thanks, Estelle. Very good. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right. And in return, how about you play me a song in your harmonica? As you wish. Is the whereabouts of light good for you? 
Yep, that's the one I wanted to hear. Alright. And now, while that plays... Oh, man. <laughs> Why is he out there? So good, I can't hear it. How fucking loud is that harmonica that they can hear it from inside the inn? I can't hear it, so I'm fine. Well, I mean, it's not actually loud, it's just the fact that everybody in, clearly in the inn could hear it. I wonder why it is that when I hear the sound of your harmonica in the evening light like this, it makes me want to cry. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, the music! Uh! So this you're still going to ask? So you're still not going to ask? About my past, I mean? We promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it. And I wasn't going to ask, right? And considering that five years have passed, it doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. Yeah, it has been five years, hasn't it? How can you live... How can you just live with me for that long and not have a million questions? That day, your father came home with this beat-up kid. I have a present for you! <laughs> a random stranger who never says a word about his past. Why'd you take him in like that? Well, first of all, I was a kid. I had no choice. And second, you were my present. It's rude to just well, disregard the present immediately. Well, it's like getting a, it's like getting a puppy, you know? <laughs> it also, seemed, there was no receipt. It seemed like the <laughs> obvious thing to do. Besides, your family now, Joshua. Dot, dot, dot. No, not, not, not the important bits, Dennis. <laughs> And like I said before, I know you pretty well. You love books, your weapons, you're a weapons geek, excuse me, when, and you've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. You're kind and fair, but you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness like a shield. Now wait a minute. And you're caring and lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about your past. If you want to make comparisons, I don't know a whole lot about dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I are family, right? Being a family for us has more to do with me knowing his personality, his habits, the food he likes. You know, the kinds of things that only I would know firsthand. And you're no different, Joshua. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you. You know that? Been like that since the first time we met. And you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was laying in bed. Oh. Wounded, I might add. Um, did I really do that? Did I do that? Yeah, injured and all. More than once. <laughs> I'm sure it was just a bit of childish play. Uh, blame Dad for my lack of social grace. Yeah, sure. Nice excuse. But anyway, Estelle. What? Let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. Like, what's the deal with airliner food? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Dad's been captured or anything. Hmm... Let's resolve this with our own hands. Joshua be setting up flags. Sure. That's exactly what I intend to do. <laughs> How about we head back into the inn? I'm sure supper is ready by now. And Olivia is dying of alcohol poisoning. Great idea, I'm starving. We need to eat our fill so we're ready for tonight. My tummy still hurts from drinking the lake water. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I have the high ground, Joshua! <laughs> Here's your book. Yeah, just throw it down. Oh, right. Quick, Estelle, stop time. Go down the stairs. Estelle held out the book she found on the table. I'm actually done with it. I told you earlier. <laughs> At this point, it would just end up being bulk weight. I wonder why I should deal with it. Uh, okay, which one's the correct one? Which do you think, which, which do you think, Dennis? Uh, can I read it? Correct. Finally. It looks like a pretty difficult book, but do you think I, if I spend some time with it, I'd understand? No, you're a toddler. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be fine. There's already a lot of stuff you know in there anyway. Yeah, like about the lake water. <laughs> so you want to take a stab at it, Estelle? Sure, I'll give she it a shot. It literally stabs the book. All right, let's read this book, shall we? <laughs> what? You book? She stabs it. 
Wow, this is a great book. I'm so glad we read that. All right. Uh, okay. T time to check back in with Olivier. Oh Olivier. my God! There's oh my God, yeah. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Five bottles. Help a fellow out. I'm begging you. I can't take another drink. Wow, I think I've just reconsidered my opinion of you, Olivier. Pretty rare for anyone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shara. I do like the fact that he actually has a sprite to beat like like this. Shara still is using her normal sitting sprite, but he is just like the dying. <laughs> well, didn't the two of you come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? We're going to eat dinner now, so the answer's no. Come on, you two. When I say let's drink, we drink. You're going to make me very angry if you don't sit for a glass with me. Oh, great. She's already reached stage two. Rage mode. Don't worry, Shara. Olivier said he's good for another couple of rounds. How about having him keep you company? Jo Joshua, you are partaking of murder. <laughs> What? So you can still drink more, can you? Uh, Joshua, how could you just keep me to her like that? I can't... I can't... Don't, don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? <laughs> I don't know. Should I? <laughs> and this is how Joshua became the new Darth Vader. <laughs> You're like a little demon and cute at the same time, too. <laughs> at least the fish are polite here. Yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> James, uh, you know, it's simple, you know, all the other, like, the rude fish, you know, the gangster fishes, but here you have the upper class. Fish. Does he mean he's going to be sleeping with the fishes? Sleeping <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the fishies. I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit at the counter? I hate to bother the two of them. Right, good idea. <laughs> Please, Shara, I'm pleading with you. You and the fish, don't pour me another glass. <laughs> ah. You and the fish. <laughs> Is Olivia just going to be haunted by fish? <laughs> oh, he's totally plastered. It looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunken Shara. Oh wow, what a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. And you're not even red in the face either from all the, that alcohol. I mean, alcoholics don't tend to go red in the face. <laughs> yeah, she's... dead. <laughs> Are you sure you she's haven't had some special kind of training, Shara? Um, it could have been all the bizarre liquors I drank while I was in the troop. You know, like the ones with scorpions and asps in them. Might have built up my resistance that way, but who knows. Somehow, I don't think that's the case. By the way, what do you plan on doing with him? He's pretty much useless as he is. Let's just let him sleep. You look so peaceful now, you wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have to have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits tonight. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it wouldn't be a good idea. Don't tell me you... You got Olivier drunk so he wouldn't be able to come along, didn't you? Well... Dot dot dot. Of course I did. <laughs> no, she's, she's faking it. And he'll thank me in the long run too. After his raging hangover anyway. And so that whole time... You were just toying with him, weren't you? Well, I mean, that was the case either way. <laughs> Let's see. It's getting late. Don't... She's dodging the subject. Let's hurry and begin our stakeout around the inn. <laughs> Don't skirt around the issues, Shara. Quiet, you. For the time being, we're going to circle up to the far pier. Understood. Alright then, let's go. And now, yet again, Olivia has taken my quartz! <laughs> <laughs> Although this time, at least, it's not exactly his fault. Uh, Shara, please, I can't take another. Now, one wonders what he's actually dreaming of. 
I was going to say her using her whip. Yeah, What's the difference? That, those two are not exactly mutually exclusive. Well, I mean, it's a bit the, the range on a whip is a bit much for doing that while pegging, don't you think? Nah, don't be ridiculous. If you have a small enough, you can probably make it. <laughs> Wait, a small enough what? Which one? A <laughs> uh, small enough whip. Um, I don't see anyone. I don't know what kind of business those siblings could have here, but, but do you think they really show up? There's no guarantee, of course, but if it, Lloyd's information has any truth to it, my best Which guess is that they'll be here. <laughs> However, if we move around too much, there's a possibility we'll be seen and they'll take off. Since the sky balance are supposed to come from the road, it might be a good idea to watch the area. Right, so where should we watch from? We need a place where we can see the road without being noticed ourselves. A place like that would be ideal. Uh, what am I looking for? Here. Go to... The, yeah. I was going to say it's at, that seemed quite an obvious place to go. We should go onto the fucking balcony. Wherever it is. Over here. Hey, hey what's that? It's the Kapoos. <laughs> okay, hang on. Dude. <laughs> well, it looks like we're a little here early here, huh? Yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> you know, if this were in the middle of the day, we could have gotten ourselves a bite tea on the way. <laughs> Quit talking nonsense. We're outlaws, remember? Now, let's hurry up and get moving. Ah, wait for me, Kyle. Wow, it actually skipped on that on top. <laughs> I have your monster energy. <laughs> uh, Where's some drywall? <laughs> Where's some drywall for me to stick my fist in? <laughs> I should have known it'd be them. It looks like they're headed for the far pier. I wonder what they intend to do. <laughs> Shall we take a look and find out? Let's try and get as close as we can without being noticed. Uh, Kyle's probably gonna try and drink some sea w some lake water. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy hurts. <laughs> Dude, my tummy hurts. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I just go straight to them? Yep. All right. No. Exit area north. It says. Or should I just? No. Let's see this anyway. I should have figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come exactly on time. I really hate those guys. They act like they're so superior, and to be honest, they're kind of scary. No doubt about that. They're quite the clandestine bunch. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from Don. Don Kapua. This seems to be a good place. Yeah, we can hear every word they're saying, too. I, I can't say dot 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 in her do, voice. Do it! Dot dot dot. There we go. <laughs> hey, Kyle. <clears throat> Don't you think Don's been acting a bit strange recently? Dot dot dot. <laughs> she it's sounds not, like it's a, just not like him, like if you ask me. You know, the whole hijacking of airliners thing. Well, I mean, it was lucrative. Now we've got the harm army <laughs> clamping down on a full scale. The army's gonna harm us! Uh, army. Uh, <laughs> not to mention those annoying bracers are now involved. Which, Dennis, I'm sure you'll be glad to know, Josette's a party member in a, in a future game. No! <laughs> and he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom in return. Well, who decided this voice? <laughs> no, well, he, actually, she had a different different voice first, but then when I d gave Kyle a surfer dude voice, Dennis decided she should have that voice. <laughs> no matter how I think about it, it seems like Don has gone way overboard this time. In the end, you'll always be just a girl. You stupid woman. <laughs> Deep down, you're just not cut out to run with the bad crap. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, maybe not the best word, but I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> If things are getting too tough for you, you're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by, as long as you don't set your sights too high. Although, admittedly, it's a bit colder than a bro. Do you think that you could just treat me like a kid, and I'm not going to get angry? I'd like to see you go get by without me, 
<laughs> with what you're crap cooking and all. Not to mention the laundry. Do you really want to go back to the burnt toast and turn your underwear inside out? <laughs> okay, okay, I see your point. I really am sick of toast, burnt or otherwise. But anyways, uh, think about think about what I said before it gets too late to back out. That dot. Now, getting back to what you said earlier, dude. I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for ransom? We should take what we can get. I'd like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Do you think he started acting strange about the time that guy showed up? That's the only thing I could think of as to why he started acting like this. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys, too. He might have even gotten Don to buy into his ideas. Who is that guy and he? That's certainly a good question. Huh? What's that over there? What's what? It looks like whoever it was they were waiting for it finally showed up. It looks like you've made it. On time as usual, huh, dude? Hmm. You could come a little earlier for a change, or even late. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. <clears throat> Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now, if that displeases you, then let me offer my sincerest apology. Really? I was just being sarcastic. Now I know you guys are definitely not my type of hero. <laughs> Enough already. We don't have time for that. Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any other developments since last time? Let's get Yes, in fact, Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to the ransom from her own assets. Seriously? We're going to get paid out of the Queen's own pocket? I guess we're pretty close to getting the money then, right? Right, dude? About the royal army. Is there any indication that they've figured out where our hideout is? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time until they do. We received reports that members of the Bracer Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff, you'll need to leave your hideout behind. Yeah, no problem there. We just happened to run into a temporary shelter by chance. Don shouldn't have any regrets about it either. Uh, there are way too many suspicious types involved in this. What do you want to do, Sharon? Should we just storm in, shoot them all, let Adio sort them out? <laughs> wow. Hmm, <laughs> I've got a better, much better idea. A better idea? These two siblings appearing here means that the Sky Bandit's airship is parked somewhere nearby. There's not much we could do if they got away again, so how about we try taking that out first? I see, take away their means of escape, right? I'm down for that. How about you, Joshua? <laughs> Internal dot dot dot. <laughs> Joshua? Oh, right. <laughs> she just zoned out. Take out the airship first, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. That's fine. Your face looks really tense all of a sudden. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Eh? We don't have much time. We've got to get out onto the road and start looking for that airship before they finish their meeting. And there we go. Hey, guys! No. Alright, uh, there yeah, we just exit. The party took the road in search of the location of the airship. And... Didn't find it. <laughs> Ooh, this music. Ooh. It's jamming. So they parked in front of Ambrel Tower, huh? This is definitely the perfect place to land since it's off the main road. So what do you want to do, Sheriff? Should we subdue them? Hmm. That's one way to go about things. But there's more than double their number since the last time we encountered them. Don't worry, even with twice as, twice as many guys did not match for us. So how do we take, take them all at once? I'm guessing this is Olivia somehow. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know if that's the best way to go about things. Yep, I know it. <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, oh, Livy! Keep it down, or they're going to hear you. That, that, that. 
Well, listen, this is a surprise. I can't believe you're standing here after the stage you were in before. Your tolerance is impressive. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Rather than miss a minute of your fair company, I dutifully puked my guts up and dumped a bucket of cold water over my head. Voila, it was good to go. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think I hear your liver screaming somewhere in there. There's some... That's some serious tenacity. Come on, I, could, I couldn't let you all enjoy the full fun yourselves, right? I had just come out of the inn when I saw you guys hit the road, so I came running from behind to catch up with you. My voice is starting to... I need to take a breathe. Breath. <laughs> ah. I guess I went a little too easy on you. Maybe I should have had you down all that brandy at once. <laughs> You'd have put me to sleep for good if you had done that, Cheryl. But anyway, finding the Sky Bandits here would lack finesse, don't you think? I don't think that's the issue here. No, I'm serious. Even if you'd subdued them all and managed to arrest the two siblings, there's still a chance they won't tell you where their hideout is. They might even use the hostages as a leverage to demand their release. Well, there's a risk involved from what if, with whatever course of action we take. Would well, you have a good plan on how we can avoid taking such a risk? <laughs> Boy, do I ever. Listen up, everyone. Okay. But if you blow in my ear, <laughs> I'm seriously going to punch <laughs> you in your lights out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sneak up on all of the bandits and blow in their ears. <clears throat> Carl, is that? It's a different one. <laughs> it's good to see you back. I didn't think you'd be gone so long. That's Dino. <laughs> Who's Dino? Doesn't matter. Just do the Final Fantasy 15, Dino. <laughs> So, talk taking longer than expected, huh? Yeah, we're nearly we're nearing an end to our investigation, our negotiations. We also managed to get a great deal of information on what's going on with the royal army. So, what you're saying is? Yep, we'll be getting the ransom money within a few days. <laughs> we'll finally be one step closer to making our dream a reality. John. No, you voiced. The him before. No, the, I, I voiced the two ones that are at the top and bottom. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, We're just going rotation. <laughs> and Dennis? We did it. There. That's, De Dennis? It's the best voice. Do it, Dennis! Dennis! What just happened? Discord froze for me. <laughs> I just voiced. Sweet. There. Cool it down, know. dudes. It's a little too early to get excited yet. For the moment, we need to get back to the hideout and report to Don. All right, everyone, pack up and let's get out of here. <laughs> roger that. Roger that. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. <laughs> the temperature outside is sixty-nine point eight degrees with fifteen percent humidity. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fahrenheit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alex just it's, said Joshua is Josette. <laughs> Yeah, there is a no, south-southwest wind from. blowing at speed of 12rg. There are no orbital reactions in the surrounding area. It looks like the army isn't patrolling here. Activate the orbital engine and begin transmitting orbital energy to each section of the airship. Aye, sir! Orbital energy engine wreck- uh, whatever the fuck. Transmission of orbital energy to all sections of the way! We'll just keep swapping. It's the best way to even bother with these kinds of people. Orbital floater started. Orbital driver started. Stabilizes. Oh, hang on, it's Dino. Stabilizes all green. Alright. Lift off. Aye, aye, sir. Nobody cares about all of the, the grunts. This, I just realized the reason they put <laughs> what? Go on. Sorry, you were saying. You were saying. <laughs> the reason they painted the teeth on it on the front there is because those two lights look like eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Set the drive rate to forty percent and maintain cruising speed. However, make sure that we can switch the battle speed at any time. Aye, aye, sir. It looks like we'll make it back before morning. Yeah, I'm ready for some spurious should I myself, but I've got to report to Don first. Huh? Eh? Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear nothing. 
That's odd. I could have sworn it came from below deck. Are, is this about to be the Star Wars thing where we steal their uniform? <laughs> Maybe just a mouse or something. I'll have to clean up the place when I find some free time. And then suddenly... How are all four of us under the stairs? <laughs> and then Olivia comes out and blows in his ear. With his gun. And... And he dies. Dude, those are, those are, that's a staircase. You should cleanly be able to see us through it. Maybe it's like one of those, uh, Oh my god, the fog. Staircases without the gaps. The gaps? The gaps. The Did you just seriously <laughs> miss say gap as gop? No, I miss said gaps as gops. It looks like an extremely disabled submarine <laughs> it doesn't look like an airship it looks like a disabled submarine someone quote him on that oh don't worry everyone will oh boy am i tired <laughs> i flew the way here boy are my arms tired <laughs> ever since we came here at here my night and day have been completely reversed we just gotta tough things out a little longer and then we can say goodbye to this horrible life with Don as our leader, we can't go wrong. Our glorious leader, Don. <laughs> but, but Hail Don. Don't you think Don's been acting a little strange lately? I mean, he's kind of scary to talk to these days. <laughs> How about you knock that crap off? <laughs> if Tyler just had heard you talking like that, they'd beat you upside the head. But this is just that. I'm sure you're just tired from lack of sleep. Let's hurry and finish up here and get some rest. You're welcome to take a rest now, if you like. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, I'll take up on that offer. You, you're those. You're too late. Alright, there we are. No, don't kill them. Don't do it. Precious little minions. Is Joshua Wait, just what? that close? Oh. What the hell are they wearing? What is that? Actually, I should have used. It looks like some kind of samurai uniform from afar, anyway. No, it's like a it's like a aviator's jacket and some shoulder pads on it. Ah, uh, no. All right, now which one of these ones is the one that is the... petrified? <laughs> now, <laughs> Olivia, turn him to stone. Did it work? I him. guess I guess it's no surprise that uh, that's Olivier's power. He can definitely make men <laughs> rock oh. hard, rock hard. <laughs> Damn it, James! Don't steal my punchline. I'll steal it all I want. <laughs> Looks like we were able to get in here without any trouble. I'm amazed this little plan plan actually worked. I guess we'll have to. We all have you to thank this time. But seriously, I was getting pretty nervous. I wasn't sure that we were going to do it if we got caught. Uh, but... <laughs> well, even if we were discovered, we just have to take control of the airship. You, you guys are pilots, right? And we would have had an advantage fighting against this lot in those tight quarters. Period number means nothing without space to maneuver in. I mean, let's be fair though. The Sherazard and Estelle both use weapons that take up a lot of space when being used. <laughs> I, uh, Joshua, I think you meant Olivier has a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Olivier, you, so you thought that far ahead, taking all these factors into account, huh? Not in a million years, are you kidding? I simply thought it would be fun to infiltrate the enemy base. I think we would have been better off if you said nothing at all. Give the poor guy a break, at least we were able to get in here without an incident. Anyway, this looks like some somewhere in the Nebel Valley. The Nevel Valley? Like the one on the border of Boston Roulette? Well, that explains why it's so misty outside. And this is definitely terrain covered with extreme differences in height which prevent the landing of any large aircraft. Looks like your guess was right, Sharon. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to help us much in getting here. But anyhow, we don't have time to be hanging around here. We'll need to subdue the sky balance and ensure the safety of the hostages being held captive. And of course, your father, Cassius, too. Right. Understood. <clears throat> so now, who, who remembers that film, Beale Steel? 
Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's mm. pretty good. Can we go explore? Let's go explore the airship. You know what's weird is that we never see any police robots with such sophisticated technology. Because it's a sports movie, John. <laughs> yeah, but still. Be nice background lore, you know? Or or even robots in the army like It's a it's a kid's sports movie, John. That's Tomato Tomato. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well I'm going to here here's spoilers, air quotes. Uh this is the last dungeon of chapter one. This is the like once this is all finished, chapter one's over. So Are we leaving off here then? Uh, I don't think we should. It doesn't seem like it'll actually be that long. So we might have to push forward and let John leave. As he will. They've got trained rats in here. That's alright. After all, John doesn't voice anybody important. <laughs> I'll have you know, me voicing those black clad soldiers was my best effort. And also, I was only able to achieve it because I am... Cool. Um, no, giant rats. No, the gold rats. Shiny, golden octurnal monsters. Attacks with poison. Yeah, um, well, if they're golden rats, should you just not knock them out? Fire them and water. Out? Okay, hang on. Profit. They are very weak to fire. Joshua, burn! And the owls are a bit weak to water. Which these two both have. And in the meantime, let's try out Olivier's next spell. Stone Impact. Where he destroys everything. Chapter 1? Well, to be fair, Matthew, there's only like four chapters besides the prologue, so... It's tr it's a bigger rock. Oh, why 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 did I think anything else? Of course, the upgraded Earth spell is just a bigger rock. Big rock, a bigger rock. <laughs> Big Goron. Of course, it's just a bigger rock. Why did why did I think it'd be anything else? <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Ariel, did that hit anything? I hit the two of them. Hit the three of them. <laughs> and now that Olivier has done his fair share of dropping boulders, let's try and have him finish that one off. Don't move out of the way. Damn it! Oh, okay. I thought I was actually moving with that. They don't look like golden rats, they look bipedal. Well, they are. Then they're not rats, are they? Listen, Matt, listen, John, this is a fictional universe. Rats are four-legged, James. Cats In the cats. real world, yes. Yeah, well, they have owls, and they are, their owls are fairly accurate. Damn it. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, craft, flicker. Either way, one of them gets it. Hmm. And Joshua is not fast enough to steal. Because of course he is. Oh no, a critical 45 damage. <laughs> yeah, that's the next upgrade to Olivia's spells is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> What is the name of this spell? The Rock. It doesn't matter what the name is. I don't think I get that reference. Chest? Oh, come on. That's such a... I know that's not what the chest looked like in the game, but... Ah! Alright, let's see. Uh, the place is pretty linear. Check the side rooms. Okay. The exact same room. Aha! Scorpion. The fuck does that mean? 
What scorpion? Is it an orb? No. Item? Is it like a literal, just an entire scorpion ingredient? It, it's just a scorpion. <laughs> no, it's not a quartz. Is it a healing item? No. Is it armor or a weapon? Ah, it's a, it's a new whip. Okay, it's, it's a whip for Sharon's own. The same one. Speaking of which, might as well equip something to him. Oh wait, hang on. What's it say? The chest is already empty, you double dipper. You call me a dip? room. Uh, oh, chest. You found EP charge. That's a new quartz. Let's see if it's something good. The chest is empty. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Gonna cry? Gonna shit your pants? Okay, EP cut. We already have one, so it's just a new one, I think. Is it? Or is it EP one? Uh, it doesn't, seems it's not actually new. Anyway. Carrying on. That seems like the way forward. The voices of some men can be heard. Dennis. It was like one of those... It sounded like some of those grunts. Shall we rush the room? Uh, no. <laughs> not yet. We want to explore first. Wait, EP charge? Oh no, that's just the name of the, the thing that restores EP. Oh, I thought it was a quartz. Okay, so then this is another chest. Found jeweled ring. The chest is empty. How tragic. Jeweled ring, what's it do? Defense plus two. It's just weaker than the work helmet. So it's not even useful. Which reminds me, I should probably just equip people with something to increase the defense. That's blind poison. Because I very much doubt any of these people are going to be poisoning us. That's a dead end. All right, then. Oh. Hold on a second. I can hear someone talking on the other side of the door. Sounds like some of the grunts. Let's take care of them before we move on, so there are no surprises behind us later. But my but my video game senses. <laughs> huh? Oh, you guys, you guys know around here? Like in your freaking dreams? Are you guys for real? Um, but if you like you. Da da da. Are you supposed to be intruders? <laughs> Bingo. We're here with the Bracer Guild. I, I think it would be best if you surrendered. <laughs> still, still you. For, 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 forget that. <laughs> we won't give up without a fight. That's a lot of them. And now, this is time to bring out just... the nuclear arsenal, Jim. You just mean area of effect attacks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A tornado for the first. Uh, a giant rock for the second. A big, bigger rock, biggest rock. Big uh, ball. Rock. Open a gate to hell. Wouldn't that damage you as well? No, I mean, no. And Estelle doesn't have any area of effect attacks, so I'll just... I'll just heal. Heal Joshua. Heal the love interest. And Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> By accident. No. Heal the love interest and Joshua. Hellgate. Boulder. <laughs> That's killed all but one of them. And dead. That's killed the last one. And that's no a, that's enough to open up Sherzard's final slot. Oh! All right, now where are the hostages? If you don't start talking, there are going to be some serious consequences involving a whip. 
to do what you want with us. We're not going to talk. Oh, is that so? Let me handle this still. Uh, sure. Can't say I didn't warn you guys. Ah! Hmm? Honestly, I'm being quite gentle with you. Don't think for a second that you're allowed to pass out yet. But if you start talking, maybe I'll be kind enough to let you... Yikes! They're, they're, they're down below. Some of our crew are guarding them. Very good. Now, where are your leaders? Kyle and Josette, right? Forget it, lady. Do your worst. No one will tell you where they are. So the hostages are one thing, but you're not going to sell out your bosses, huh? I guess there's only one thing left to do. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Holy shit. Share as, un as unforgiving as ever. This? No, I've been far more unforgiving. Any masochist would be thrilled to make your acquaintance, sure. And my whip would be thrilled to make yours. Maybe some other time. It looks like the hostages are being held down below. Let's hurry. Okay, we might not actually have to go too far over our time limit for this. What the fuck? The fuck is this creature? The fuck are you? What, what's it called? What is this? The Mad Tree. A plant monster from the mountains. Slows people down with mud. Weak against fire. Joshua, kill it. It's, it's, it's Chef, you know. It's the Chef. My name is Chef. <laughs> James flirting with himself makes me uncomfortable. Well, that's what happens when they haven't got enough people to voice, Matthew. Sometimes sacrifices must be made. You know? <laughs> uh, anybody need healing? Sure is that. But the alternative is James flirting with someone else. <laughs> yes. I mean, imagine James flirting with John. Yeah, I, I well, to be fair, Sherazar's not the one doing the flirting. <laughs> yeah. But so if John was still Olivier, he'd be the one doing it. Exactly. And to be fair, I'm used to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Indeed. I think I think we I think we've gotten quite good at using the magic. <laughs> Killing enemies in one turn. This is just a hallway. <laughs> what kind of base is this? It's just hallways. Ah, fuck, it's getting closer. Alright, uh. I'll get. Well, I won't be available for maybe. A few minutes? Yeah. Right. It... Well, it's most. You'll be able to hear it when it gets close. Alright, uh. Let's see. God, Estelle, you just. <laughs> You need an area of effect attack quick. <laughs> Otherwise, she's useless. Okay, maybe I should start saving up on EP for... What would be our... Hellgate. And aerial. Uh-oh. Kill it. Ew, kill it. <laughs> Johnny on Bosch. <laughs> it, it, just, it just takes you by surprise. Alright, down we go. Uh oh, cutscene. <clears throat> Anyone have a clue what this place is? It's way too big for these bandits to have built, and it seems pretty ancient. It almost feels like a stronghold of some sort, and I agree, this plate is pretty old. I wonder if people used hidden forts like this uh, this one as hideouts back then. As far as I've heard, the turmoil following the Great Collapse continued on for several hundred years. So it doesn't seem that strange to, to me that something like this is still around. The Great Collapse? The collapse of the ancient Murian civilization which existed more than 1,200 years ago. It's had that a huge natural catastrophe wiped them out. Oh, you mean like Professor Alva said before? Alva Dumbledore? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. For being a place this hard to find, someone's got some serious bad tastes in hideouts. Not to mention, there are all sorts of monsters lurking around here, too. 
I wonder if this is how all men like to live. Um, Shara? Just what kind of men are you hanging out with? Olivia. Olivia. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Preemptive attack. So as we can kill them faster. Okay. <laughs> and for his neutral B, Olivia uses a gun. Uh-oh. I was about- I, I literally said, what are the chances of us getting poison in this dungeon? Lo and behold, the rats have poison. Is she still poisoned, or is that just in battle? I think it's only in battle. Strega R. More shoes! Give him the Joshua. Empty. Uh, hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Bear assault? What the fuck's a bear assault? It's like a parasol, but a bear assault. Is it? I knew it. I knew it was a gun. It's the name of another gun for Olivia. <laughs> Is that- is this a fucking vacuum cleaner? <laughs> is this a fucking magical vacuum cleaner? <laughs> What's this? I'm guessing it's an horrible vacuum. It looks like the newest model, so it's probably still- <laughs> Interesting. Huh? What's this? There's something stuffed inside. Found a black notebook. Oh no, notebook? The, it's the death note. <laughs> Yep, that's what it looks like to me. But well, what's something like this doing inside a vacuum? It's probably something important. <laughs> uh, I mean, just hold on to it just in case. Yeah, good idea. We found this this book inside a vacuum cleaner. Oh, it must be important then. What kind of logic is that? Um, don't you hide your books in your vacuum cleaner? Black notebook. Uh, found inside a vacuum. Nonsensical rows of number are written inside of number of numbers. And yet more mad trees. Uh attack the one. So can you save any time you want in this game, or is it outside of like dungeons or uh, whatever? That's a good question, I don't know, but as far as I know it is just in the pause menu. So it's not entirely limited. Like, there's no save points. Because some games do that where it's like, oh, if you're in a dungeon, you can't save, but, you know, you save everywhere else. Of course they didn't fucking die. We're going to see what Olivier's uh, ultimate ability is at the boss fight, so <laughs> look forward to that. Oh, yeah. It's probably going to be blowing in the ear. <laughs> Oh my god, these mad trees. There's so many. You're mad, bro? There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, Joshua! Not now! He still misses. We're reaching the end of disc one and he still- he still misses. Why is there just a rat in here? Oh, no, I don't trust it. I have to fight it. It might have an item or something. Well, there's always experience. True. Never hurt not to be slightly stronger for the next place. Uh, here, shoot it. And aerial.
Okay. No, shut damn it. Wait a minute, did 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 Olivia just petrify that by in a normal attack? Skull pendant. No. No. How did he do that? Petrify. Oh, so all of Olivia's attacks just have a 10% chance to petrify enemies. That's pretty cool. Which, if you remember when it happened to <laughs> us, if you remember from when it happened to us, petrifying means they'll die if they get hit again. But also, haha, <laughs> funny erection joke. Yes. Okay, there. Another yes, one. Yes, I am erect. So what? The voices of some men can be heard. I can hear somebody talking again. Shall we rush the room? Yes. Who, who are you guys supposed to be? Oh, it's Dino. Dennis. Braces? How'd you get in here? It looks like the hostages are being held in the room just beyond here. I think it's time you surrendered quietly, or else... Don't catch yourselves! Let's get them. <laughs> I'm gonna put you at the golden key, huh? Stones! I want stones! Alright, they all have melee weapons, so it's time for AoEs. AoEs up the ass! Olivier. <laughs> Wait, which, De Dennis, could you could you read the stream title like that, please? Oh god, okay. What's the, screen? What's the stream title? <clears throat> Mm. Oliver crushes it with a rock. Wait, did I misspell it? <laughs> did I misspell Olivia? No, I said Olivia. In Yoda voice, it just sounds like Oliver. Mm. Crush my cock with a rock, I must. Maximum pain, I must endure. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close to level up. What's going on out there? Come on. When it, do when it doesn't matter, we just go in a rotation of me, John Dennis. Let's go. But it's an internal squabble. Is everyone alright? We're with the Brace of Guild and have come to rescue you. Seriously, we're saved? We've taken care of the guards, so you don't need to worry about anything for the moment. Dennis? Really? We've been saved! Well, I'm Grand, captain of the airline Alinda. I don't know how to express my gratitude for what you've done for us here today. You can thank us after we've gotten you out of here. By the way... Um... Uh... Doesn't look like he's here. Oh. Uh, are, Ooh. are these all the hostages? Yes, that's correct. This is everybody who was on the Linda, including crew and passengers. Dun dun dun! That can't be right. Wasn't there a man by the name of Cassius Bright on this flight? He's a member of the Bracer Guild. Cassius Bride, I do remember I do declare. I remember hearing that. I am the world president. <laughs> uh, um, Captain, isn't that the passenger? Isn't he that passenger? You know, the one who got off right before we left? Right. Now that you mention it, there was one passenger who did get off. What, what do you mean? Calling it his working with the Sky Bandit. Um, well, it was this one passenger who disembarked the airline right before we took off. Man had been on board since the Royal City and didn't seem to have such a name, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Alex is really putting in the word for clips today. <laughs> what? But his name was on the passenger list. Well, since he got off right before we departed, there wasn't any time to document the changes. Would have been handled had we arrived in the 
lands, but we were attacked by the Sky Bandits en route, and things were left as they were. Yep. So that's what happened, huh? I thought it would have been awfully strange if Dad had been captured by the Sky Bandits. Well, it looks like our question has finally been answered. <laughs> How ironic. Now, wait a minute. That, that just, what is Dad doing? For something this big, with something this big going on, why hasn't he contacted us? Calm down, Estelle. I know you're as curious to know as I am, but thinking about it now isn't going to get us anywhere. Alright, I have to, uh, add someone else's voice in the dulcet tones of the captain. Alright. Our focus needs to be on securing the safety of the hostages. Okay. You're right. Then I guess I'll just have to forget about it for now. Listen up, everyone. We are now going to go after the Sky Bandit leaders and arrest them. I know how you all must feel, but I need you to sit tight a little longer. We'll be waiting here. Good luck. If that's the case, we'll prepare for the worst. Our lives are in your hands. In other words, don't let us down. Leave everything to us. Eh. <laughs> Alright. We're almost nearing the end of the dungeon. I think. Uh, get the door and fight. Keep going. All right. Is it here? There's a rock wall at the end of the passage. Is this a dead end? No. Looks like there's something here. Shall we try pushing it on it? Push on the rock. And it's a shortcut out. Poof! <laughs> uh, did, did, are you sure we just pushed that, right? This was a secret door. That's quite a neat little trick there. I wouldn't expect anything less from a secret fort. Fort! This looks like it's a corner of the Neville Valley. Cher, should we help the hostages escape first? No. We need to take out the Sky Bandit's boss first. <laughs> this is a video game. If we're attacked while attempting to escape, there's no way we'll be able to protect that many people. Oh, that's true. Well then, how about we get back in there and have a face-to-face -face chat with the gentleman running this fine operation? Alright, we go back in. Another door. A familiar voice can be heard. Is this? Yep, let's say the Sky Band's boss's room. Wait, hang on. Let's see. Go past the gate door. Okay, so not yet. One final chest. The treasure chest is offended that you returned. <laughs> Was the first time not good enough for you? SMH. Alright, now. Okay, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> now, how are we going to do Dawn? <laughs> I really thought he was going to be like longer hair than Kyle, but he looks like... Like? And by the way, they're siblings. He's not their dad or anything. That's... Not dad, like... Like what? Just just the, the, the butcher older brother? Yeah, but like... Not brother, you know? <laughs> All right. I don't know how to describe it. Alright, I'm gonna try and... <laughs> it's just turned into Wario. <laughs> <laughs> so the Queen's gonna pay out the ransom, is she? Now we can finally say goodbye to this meager living. Don't get careless, bro. We haven't got a... said bro. 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 We haven't bro. got money in the hand yet. Yeah, and we'll need to decide on a plan on how to let the hostages go. Let the hostages go? Now hold on a minute. Why do we have to bother with that? Eh? But once we get our mirror, we'll just kill them all and be done with it. We've no need to leave them alive. Don? <laughs> You're joking, right? They know exactly what we look like, remember? Even if we left Libero for good, we could still be tracked, right? But there are old people and kids among them. Do you really intend to kill them all? I swear, no matter how old you get, you never grow up. This isn't playtime, get it? But... 
I'm sorry to say this, bro, but I'm against killing the hostages, too. Adios would never forgive us if we do that. And I don't want to get our home back with mirrors stained in the blood of innocent people. Dot, dot, dot. Kyle, since when did you become the boss around here? Uh huh? I think it's about time you learned your place. Fuck. Jeez. <laughs> ah. Kyle. <laughs> Wario. Who cares about our old home? Wow, the teeth. The teeth. He is Wario. All he cares about money. With this kind of mirror coming in, what could you possibly want with our old worthless land? Look at his teeth. <laughs> exactly. Ah, we're gonna blow all this cash somewhere near the southern resort and enjoy the good life for a while. What did you say? And once we run out of mirror, we'll just hijack another airship. This is going to be the future of the Kapua Sky Bandits. Wah! <laughs> My voice. You know the warrior laughing video? <laughs> Wah! John, what's happened to you? <laughs> His vocal cords. <laughs> what in Adios' name has happened to you? Sorry to interrupt, but could you, <laughs> could you have your little family feud later? It's family fortunes. <laughs> Jeez. You again. Bracers! Why are you here? How can you say something so heartless? Especially after you gave us a lift here in your own airship. Uh, impossible! What are you talking about? You can't be. Our voices are very similar. You had your airship sitting in front of Ambril Tower, right? We just slipped in when you weren't looking and hid in the cargo hole. In other words, we stole a ride from a bandit. Ha! <laughs> Take that! For a dimwit, you've really outdone yourself this time. Do you know what you're calling a dimwit, you two-faced tomboy? Why did you call me? You bimbo, airhead brute. J just try and say that again. Alright, alright, enough of the bickering between you two. <laughs> We're here for a nice, clean boss fight. <laughs> We've liberated the hostages and defeated the other enemies, members of your group. So it looks like all that's left is you three. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. Under arrest. It would be best not to resist. Man. Don't know. Dude. Crap. Kyle! Josette! What is the meaning of this? Sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Dom. <laughs> That's okay, I'll forgive you just this once. Once I kill them, that'll be that. What? <laughs> what a bunch of fools you are to think with that pitiful number of people that you could ever capture Don Kapua. Oh my god, he's got a fucking cannon. Ah! <coughs> Look at how effortlessly he handles the horrible cannon. Oh my. Kyle, Josette, it's time to hunt some game. And I like my sport bloody. Ah! <coughs> <laughs> Jesus my Christ, fucking voice. Be destroyed. Yeah, but I mean, if 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 what happens to him after this, as I presume will, yeah, I won't be doing that voice much longer. Uh, oh, okay. Head of the Capout, never had to fire his cannon. None of them have. Wait, why is Kyle weak to everything but Earth for some reason, but the other two aren't weak to anything? All right. So, how do we do this? Start with... No, Flicker, I think. Actually, wait, no, yeah, we still have everybody else first, so... Let's just start by attack attacking Kyle with... Fire. Estelle will go up and smack him. Oh. Craft, no, not craft, art. That's too slow. Smack Dom. With his 2000 health. And Stone Impact has quite the range, so if they stay together. Oh! Jeez. I forgot that Joshua has shit for, shit for defense. Uh-oh. Okay. And drop a rock on them. 
deals the same damage, or not, I guess. And then he's gonna throw his grenade. <laughs> Don't fucking die. Okay, I'm going to interrupt that. <laughs> oh, it'll hit them all. Do it, Olivier! Something about the true essence of beauty is what he says. Take that! He, did he fire a nuke bullet? I don't think it's very mate. Kinda was. Alright, flicker. And he can hit them both, yes. And that's the death of them both. Alright. Now, fucking heal, Joshua! A critical heal. Even. Uh, lightning. Will that do more damage, I wonder? Try it. A crotch cannon. I mean, he is kind of holding the cannon in front of his crotch. Did that do more damage, or is it intended for... Yeah, it's intended for multiple targets from the looks of things. But, we still have Sherizard's Sadist Whip. Oh wow, it's not even enough. Alright, Joshua, go up and smack him, and hopefully get your thing finished? Nope. He's stunned anyway, so. Olivia, shoot the bastard. Fucking shoot him! Oh, he can't he can't shoot and move on the same turn. And that's enough for 200 percent They should finish it! Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, you think that's his nothing personnel ability? You haven't seen what he gets later in the game. Oh, fuck. Level up? Yay! Joshua learned taunt. Oh, so it's not even... Yes, the guy who has the worst defense. A bit of everything. These guys are tough. So this is the strength of a bracer, huh? Crap, how can I lose this girl? The second time. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Have you learned your lesson yet? Now that this has been settled, I'm going to ask you that you surrender nicely. Any more trouble out of you, and well, you know what'll happen, right? Sherzard stroked her whip and smiled at Chazette. No. Yes! yes. Oh, I... No, anything but that. It's a Why me? Why do I have to go down like this? Um. Ah, uh, what's going on? I heard all over. And when did I get normal cannon? What the heck? Bro? Don. Oh, just it! You came back from Berlin already? If you're back this quickly, then I guess things didn't work out, huh? Eh? <laughs> Don't try and cover it up. If you've had enough, then how about leaving the breadwinning to us men? We probably won't be able to earn a whole lot, but just but be patient. Don, what are you talking about? Did you hit your head, bro? Josette came back from roulette like forever ago. I went to pick her up right after we attacked the airliner. What? Attacked an airliner? What's all this crazy talk? We never do something like that. Da da da. Da da da. What's this guy talking about? I don't think he's trying to cover his butt. I think he really doesn't know. Come to think of it, who are these strangers? Don't tell me they're new recruits. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we're not. We're with the Bracer Guild. Ah! What are a bunch of bracers doing up here? This guy's completely lost his marbles. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Whether you've forgotten or not, you're still under arrest. You're charged with hijacking an airliner, hostage taking, demanding a ransom, and other such offences. Hijacking an airliner, hostage taking, and demanding a ransom? Kyle, Josette, tell me, tell me this is some kind of joke. Don. I think that's my line. But thanks to you, bro, we've got a chance to escape. Smoke ball! Ah! Oh, hell, not again. Hey! Kyle? We'll talk about this later. Let's get just focus on getting out of here. 
I'm, I'm never going to get the smell out of this out of my care. Why? Hurry and get out of this room. Why did I have to voice act coughing? Cringe. Which way did they go? They went up. They're going to try and escape in their airship. Ah! After tracking them this far, we can't let them get away. We've got to catch them. Right. Understood. <laughs> I've made it out alive. Oh, what a tragedy this has become. My delicate nasal cavity. Hey, Olivia, you better hurry. We're going to leave you behind. Ah, wait for me. That's it. And now we just backtrack and hopefully the enemies didn't respawn. If they did, I'm going to try and avoid them. Oh. Hold it there. Right there, you. Stina. Well, that's... Oh, okay. You're not getting past us. You guys are back for more after a righteous beating like that? You back? No, no, that's what I call talk. Hmm. If you don't want to move, then we're going to force our way through. And because everybody leveled up, everybody's back to full strength. And, of course, they poisoned the cell immediately. <laughs> You're all standing rather close. Just feel the poison. Weak thing. Uh, cures poison. Cures poison. There we go. And just kill them all. No, oh, that's it. All right. Uh, of course, they actually respawn the fucking other enemies. Which don't seem to actually be taking aggro, so. Oh. Don't think you're getting, going up any further. Take the hostages and go. So you're back for more, huh? Let me learn. What are you trying to do? Buy time for your leaders to escape? Yeah, same guy. Oh, that's me. Heh, <laughs> they've done a lot for us over the years. Now it's time to return the favor. Eh, eh. I'm going to die after this stream. <laughs> okay, these ones don't seem too intent on moving up. So instead, quick draw. Olivia, hit them all. <laughs> he just shoots everybody. Hellgate. Helgen. Oh yes, good. Move into the Hellgate. <laughs> Why don't you, you fucking idiot? At this rate, it won't be too long until everybody in the party has a... What's the word? A, a full orbit. Okay, get by it. <laughs> Don't just spring more enemies on me. Ah, god. Fucking damn it. You know what? I'm going to run. <laughs> because this is not important to anything. And we've already leveled up. Crap, it looks like we got company. Eh, <clears throat> Dennis. It's me. <laughs> Please. Don't you think you're go going out to walk out of here the same way you came in? All we need to do is buy some time for Don Kong and Josette to escape. Trying to shield your mass is the bitter end, huh? Though it's a ridiculous thing to do, your spirit is admirable. Then I wonder if beating them into the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down. All right. This would be a good opportunity to use lightning. So, is there another boss fight after this, or is it just cut? Uh, I don't know. No, no, there isn't. No mention of another boss fight. 
So this is just the end of this chapter. Oh, of course, they've completely knocked Sherazard out of the way. You motherfuckers. Hate Sherazard back. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not as easy to do. And of course, as much as the range of the stone impact is huge, it's not big enough. Oh, wait. Craft. Quick draw. Haha. <laughs> Shoot them. He missed. Ah, well done, Sherazard. You're hitting nobody. Good job. You, you fucking idiot. Olivia, shoot them all. Oh, I accidentally misclicked. <laughs> wow, this is this is a comedy of errors, isn't it? Olivia, shoot them all again. Jeez. Is that it? Are we done? Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. No more, please? Okay. Oh, the army's here. Oh ah. no. Oh dear. I see them. Oh, Dorothy right after dawn. <laughs> What's this? How'd the army find out about this place? That liar! Thing, things weren't supposed to go down like this! Hey, get your dirty mitts off of me! Hey, what's going on here? Oh, jeez, it hurts. Oh no. Ahem. <clears throat> so these are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits! I'm surprised there's such a young woman, too! How about you shut your yap and start taking some good pictures? What are your chances of getting another scoop like this? I, oh yeah, by the way, I will be taking over for Colonel Richard because he will be a player character la later on. Can you give him um, Shadow the Hedgehog voice? Unfortunately, no, because I know he is a voice actor for something else. His voice actor. Oh. He's the, vo he's he's the voice... He's the... Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's the same voice as Gilgamesh from, from the Fate series. So I just have to... You mongrels! So how about it, Niall? Is this enough to help you write a decent article? You bet it is. I'm really grateful that you took us along. Oh, would you mind if we took a picture of you while we're at it? Hmm, what do you think, General Morgan? Oh, Jesus, why Why are all these voices coming back to haunt me? Will I do it? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not going to... I'm not giving up, Dennis! <laughs> do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this was the result of the accuracy of the intelligence division analysis. The g My gate of Babylon has every weapon in, in existence. And thanks to the cooperation of those you s of you standing over there. What? <laughs> Flat what? Um, what are you guys? I mean, how the heck? What's going on exactly? Kids again. Hey, look, it's Estelle and Joshua. Bracers, what are you doing here? Just for the record, I'll tell you, we inf infiltrated this place one step ahead of you. Again. And the entire hideout has been subdued. We chased the fl fling sky bandit leaders up this way. But I would never guess that the Royal Army's patrol ships would be waiting. Yeah, once again, you've overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strike saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we turn, in turn, recognize their achievements? That, that, that. Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return to the ship and see what information I can get out of these sky bandits. Very well, General. That old man's as stubborn as ever. He's not a bad person. He just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, where are the other sky bandits and hostages? The other lackeys should be just lying all over the place unconscious. And as for the hostages, we we have them waiting in the same room they are imprisoned in. I see. You've done well. This na You've done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the mongrels and the cargo to us. Let's move, Captain Amalthea. I can't remember who... I think John did this lady, so just... Yes, Colonel. Uh, wait for me, Colonel. Colonel! <laughs> Colonel, 
really like to interview your kids, but it's time to colonel. It's a top priority. God, no. Well, we have another opportunity. I appreciate doing one with you, too. God, no. You have such a man crush on Gilgamesh. See you later, Stella Joshua! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't even do it as Mickey Mouse. My, my, my. You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen, just like that. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The race's role has always been that of the unsung hero, so there's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right. Yeah. That always made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Da -da -da. Because he was in the background. Ah! Where is that? Hmm. I guess that's one problem we still got to figure out. Where is Dad now? What is he doing? Why hasn't he tried to contact us? Um, it looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to the boss and report what happened with the incident. We'll try and figure out what to do about your dad after that. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not doing a German accent, so... I really appreciate. I don't want to do a German accent. I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory, so I don't know if we could exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been here, I don't know if the army's raid would have been so successful. Backed into a corner as they were, the sky balance may very well have harmed the hostages. Agreed. Everything worked out because you infiltrated the hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. You really think so? It's true, the hostages were freed and the sky mounts are arrested. It's a bit vexing to know that there are still some unanswered questions left. The men who appear at the Valeria Lakeshore and the mystifying adjunct leader of the sky bandits. He was just channeling Wario. I think we should consider that there's a lot of behind this incident that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll have to leave the part up to the Royal Army to figure out. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's really not much left we can do. Anyway, we should head back. We should be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Olivia. <laughs> I just hope that my work was in was worth the price of that crown chardonnay. <laughs> Yes, in yeah. fact, in fact, there was a change to spare. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again. Dennis? Is that me? Yep. Good day. Which, I know that Lila shows up in a future game, but I don't think the mayor does. Who's Lila? The maid? The maid, yeah. Wow, Great. nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone any on any longer, it would have caused them much more confusion. It's probably only natural that the mayor is as happy as she is. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of other people. Eh, <laughs> if you say so. But I think it's safe to say that you're no longer greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. Haha, uh -huh, you think so? At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay, and pay for clearing up the incident. And there we go. Holy shit! Here's the pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very nice song. And this is from me. Recommendation. Isn't this a recommendation from the boss branch? Is it alright to give this to us so soon? Of course, it'd be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Legrand. Well, we'll work hard so that we don't bring any embarrassment on this recommendation. <laughs> Great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if you heard the news. Chair. Sure. You're probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yeah, it's definitely not like him. And after he suddenly disembarked from the airliner and boss, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Aren't you that receptionist from the landing park? What's the matter? Ted. 
You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits, and among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. One of them? Why not just give them all? I appreciate you doing that, but wait a minute. Why is there something addressed to, the, to this branch when the airline left Boss to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Relent Branch. But aren't Cassie's Bright's family members here? What? That's us, but... Oh, perfect. We contacted the Relent Branch and they said you would come here. Here you are. This is the parcel. Estelle was given both the letter and parcel. This letter, yep. It's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Relent Branch. It seemed as if he scribed it out before he got off the airliner. Guess Dad didn't intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh. Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel's from your dad too, then. No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. Okay, my business here is done, so I'll be on my way. Oh, and one other thing. Good job in helping arrest those Sky Bandits. You bracers sure do excellent work. And he was never heard from again. And to think that a clue about your father could be mixed in with the airline of cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you like. Thanks, Lagrat. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the contents, shall we? You have no part in this, Olivier. No part whatsoever. <laughs> do you mind telling me what you're still doing here? It's just plain simple curiosity, so. What? Why did your father disembark the Aena prior to its departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer, the question would stick in my mind, so I'd never be able to sleep at night. And you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel you can be to a companion who has travelled alongside you. And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout, I wonder. All right, already. You can be a rather obnoxious fellow, I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we may have to ask you to leave, okay? <laughs> of course I understand. All right, let's see what he has to say. Still started by cutting the letter seal. Okay, you might as well read this, Dennis, if it's in Cassie's voice. So, what was it again? It's kind of... I, I, I don't know how to describe it. Well, if it changes... Here so are Estelle and Joshua. Yeah, that's about it. I'm sure you've probably about finished with the job that left you, right? And then some. I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, though I found a little trouble of my own work. And unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to make a home for some quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like the way they did. We should be grown up enough to not be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Relent. Or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sherizard and Ina. Cassius Brent. It seems like the type of letter your father would write. It touches lightly on things, but it's full of consideration towards the both of you. Yeah. It looks that way. The Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, it still weighs off. Yep, it's about two or three months away, which means that this would be perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Forget about that. Let's focus on what's in the package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself, but we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know. Then that's true. Olivia, don't coax a cell into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Okay, you though, Olivia does have a good point. Instead of leaving until her dad comes home, might be worth looking into. Okay, let's check it out. Open the parcel. Uh, a shiny black hemispherical device. And a single memo. Uh, what's this supposed to be? It's an orbment, although I'm not sure what it's used for. It's the black orbment. 
Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item the aforesaid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an anal analysis when you find an opportunity. K. Uh, that's K. it? <laughs> K. Yep, looks like the center didn't write anything else. Shara, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be could be foreigners too. If this is the only thing we've got you on, then honestly I'm about ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black orb then, anyway? From the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle ornament. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle ornament has slots in which you may install quartz. But this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact. An artifact? Precisely. An artifact is an ornament created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are models for all ornaments produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septian Church has custody over them. They're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. It looks to me like it was made recently. You're right about that. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Jeez, now look at what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad. Doesn't he know that we're all worried about him? Oh, Estelle? <laughs> now he's getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender. What in the world has my dad gotten himself into this time? Estelle. You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How will we continue our journey? <laughs> oh no, I thought we'd just end the game here. Huh? Joshua? That's what Dad wrote in his letter, right? <laughs> he said, you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Yeah, he did say that, but... We already managed to get the recommendations from Relent and Boast, right? So all that's left is Ruan, uh, Zeiss, Zeiss yeah. and Gransel. Only those three. If we do jobs as we travel around to these other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is or what he's doing. I think we're just worrying ourselves for, oh, for nothing, considering Dad's skills, or lack of. <laughs> and there's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. But I think getting off our own doves is a lot better than just sitting around and waiting. We might be able to find this Professor R, too. No, just, it's Professor... <laughs> Professor... Um, Joshua? What? You're a genius! Estelle, you're too close. This is like killing two birds with one stone, and maybe even ten. As in, like, ten stones or ten birds? <laughs> Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. So, should I consider that a yes? No, is it ever yes, yes, triple yes? Training to be a senior bracer as we travel around liberal, and exposing what that no-good middle-aged man has been doing in the process. Um, I think you're somehow missing the point. <laughs> it looks like she's back to her old self. <laughs> I guess it's settled then. Olivia, why are you still here? R for Robotnik. It's Professor Robotnik. Well, take care. I'm going to head I back to... I have 70 alternate accounts. Well, take care. I'm going to head back to Roulette now. That said, I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want to come come along? Give it a rest, Sharon. We'll be fine. The whole reason we're going to, on this trip is beca is become senior bracers. We wouldn't be training anymore if you came with us. And if you didn't go back, the Rolling Branch would have a hard time managing things. And don't worry about us, we'll figure out a way to get things done. Isn't it a bit late to be having this talk? They're about to board the fucking airship. <laughs> well, if you insist. It's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for senior bracer status, so I don't want to do it. And if you run into any trouble, contact the Rolling Branch, you got it? I'll come running no matter what, where you are. Sure, thanks, Sharon. Sure. The same goes for you. Don't get yourself too liquored up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll watch the number of drinks. <laughs> Never fear, dear children. You can count on me to protect fair Shara. And why are you headed to Relent? Not to mention with Shara? That's because I've tasted all there is to taste of the local dishes here in Boss. And I thought it was about time I turned my attentions towards another region. As for Relent's cuisine, I've heard the produce is just to die for. So that's what I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant on some lovely vegetables or some such nonsense. Since he's so persistent, I only agreed to him 
coming along under the condition that we go drinking with me at the bar. We'll never see him alive again. Oh, Dennis is gone for the moment. <laughs> yep, Charizard is about to steal all of my wind quartz, and, and, and Olivia is about to steal all my earth quartz, leaving us with just fire and water. Unfortunately. Did you unequip your soap? Nope, didn't have the chance as this cutscene started. Didn't even know they were going to be leaving. Oh well. I can always get more. Olivia, I really hope you understand what you promised her. Ha! <laughs> I could die for the likes of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many agonizing hours of consideration, I've decided to accompany Fair Sherazard instead. I think back? I'll be better off with a safe distance away from me. Well, have fun, but I'm warning you. Don't you dare make any trouble to relent, you hear me? And here's another piece of advice. When Sherazard's at the bar, watch out. That's when the gloves come off. I'm seriously not joking when I say you should be aware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle? And besides, Ina's coming along too. Yeah, and, and she's even worse than you. The gloves come off, huh? Is that, perchance, what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes, Estelle said it best, though. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> yes, it was a pleasure. <laughs> uh, for a left-bound airline, I will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Well, Ollie boy, it looks like it's time for us to leave. Come now, we better hurry and get on. Just shut up, wait, can we talk this over? I'd really appreciate it if I had just a little bit more time to think things through. Surely you're not getting cold feet already. If you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like a ninny. <laughs> See you later, Shara. Give our regards to everyone relent. Have a wonderful trip, you two. This is the last time we saw we saw Olivia alive. Now this is the end of a sec of the of another chapter, and again it involves an airship taking off. And then that airship goes down. <laughs> chapter one, end. Still gonna be more cutting, isn't there? It's not just oh gonna, it's not gonna just throw me into the game and let me save. <laughs> and Sharon. Is there an auto save or something? Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, save. Oh, there we go. Okay, we don't have to. All right, good. Thank <laughs> Christ. There we go. It's being left for. Okay, hang on. What was the achievement? <laughs> the achievement is a picture of Sharon and uh, Olivia, and it's called "That's Love and Peace, Baby." Anyway. That's love and peace. Baby. That's the end of chapter one. My god, my throat is going to explode. I hope you enjoyed, everyone. Goodbye. I hope I'm recovered by Friday. That's enough from us. Join in next time.